your life. Hi guys, to celebrate dancewithanna.com, I'm very excited to do a one hour special today on YouTube channel for Dance Today. And we're gonna do some recreational exercises for all five dances and also uh, it will include the combo small variations so you can practice in studio or at home uh, those exercises and combinations we're gonna start with the cha 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 so the first exercise we will have just the switches in place and we're gonna do uh, for 10 counts just a rotary action so we will just switch our body weight try to keep your um, grips in a little bit more compact because we're gonna do it slightly faster and just try to rotate your hips around your spine without swinging or moving your upper body yeah so we're gonna just rotate for 10 counts and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten at the same time i want you to coordinate and concentrate on your knee resistance so every time when you have this rotary movement make sure that your hip is not settling and doesn't go back too much keep it in one straight line and feel the resistance between your both knees and second exercise we're gonna do same switches but with the pelvic action so with in this movement we're not uh, we of course we're gonna rotate our hips but we start the movement through the pelvic yes yeah? so we kind of like tilt our pelvic forward now we transfer sl slowly our weight on other leg and then we're gonna switch so scoop switch scoop switch we're gonna do this exercise for 10 counts and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i did 11. great <laughs> okay so those exercises we're gonna um we'll try to apply in our combo routine so steps will be very quite simple we will have a check forward with the left leg so check two three now we have the switches in place which we're gonna do just rotary movement four one now switch your weight on end on your left leg and now start to do the check with your right leg forward two and this rotary switch in place for one not in four and one not the syncopated timing just four one slow slow then we'll have a switches in place two left left leg to the side close your feet three right leg to the side close your feet four close your feet and move your right leg to the side one one more time i just want to review with you so we start our check with the left leg forward two three times your body weight replace switch to the right leg check two three and switch four one and now switch is in place and move your leg to the side two three four one perfect i hope you get it now we will combine those exercises what we just did rotary movement and the pelvic action into this small combination now when we have a check instead of just to do a regular check we're gonna start with the rotation so the check will have a rotary movement so do not settle on your hip just rotate your hip into the check too do you see when i arrive into that position i maximum turn my hips keep keep your shoulders always facing the front three replace and now uh, that switches will be again a rotary four one keep it aligned and again check two rotation do not settle keep your uh, center engaged flat back 
three, and switch four, one. Perfect. Now, we finally will start to activate our pelvic action during those side switches. So, we'll start with the hip first, and two, and three, and four, and one. What you should feel during this movement, you should feel that your hips are collecting your foot. You not just close your foot, you start with the pelvic, that's what pulling your leg in, and then you release this movement. And again, pelvic starts, and you release. And try to not engage your shoulders, so it's not in my upper body, it's all happening here, in my pelvic and my tailbone. Okay, so we have rotary movement in the first section and the pelvic action in the second section. Let's repeat it together one more time from the chair. Rotary and two, three, rotation, four, one. And again, check two, three, four, one. And now those switches through your hips. A two, A three, A four, uh, one. Um, I think you should. I should show you how it looks from the back, and you will follow me. Okay. So we're gonna start with the left leg, and two, three, rotary action. Four, one. Check two, three, four, one. Switches through the hip. A two, a three, a four, a one. One more time, we will try to um, live it, dance it more continuous, yeah, and with my count, so you can get a little bit more familiar with the count and with this routine, because that's as I promised, we're going to dance it a little bit more, and check, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, switch, two, three, four, one, through the hip. And now we can start with the other leg. Check. Two. Rotation. Three. Four. One. Other side. Two. Three. Four. One. And switch. Two. Three. Four. One. Check. Other side. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Pelvic. Two. Three. Four. One. It's very important. When you have the last action, the switches to the side, I already mentioned to you, please try to control that you keep your shoulders with no movement. We do not accenting this action in the spine. Feel your tailbone, which is kind of scooping forward every time when you collect your foot. And now you release it. And you can send it a little bit more backwards, but by using your hip, bones, these two bones, like you're kind of pushing it down, down to the floor, and you release it, and again, pull it up, and release it down to the floor, up, release down, here is a cup of water, we don't move our head at all, okay, perfect, yes, okay, so we're down to the cha-cha, here we go, there's some water, and everybody watching, please destroy that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button one time, not two times, because then it takes it away. See, so I hit have that a thumbs great up. Service. <laughs> Thank you, Ruben. So everybody joining, Very please hit that thumbs up button. Great. Okay, should we move, we move to the samba, right? I think, yeah, you're ready. We had a nice warm up. Um, okay, samba. In samba, we will practice. Uh, very simple exercise. Everybody, I think, know the samba bounce, but they just want to go a little bit deeper, and we're going to split this bounce to four counts. And basically, that's how you should dance your samba all the time, because our knee timing is always during the bounce. One, two, goes down. Three, four, it's recovery. So one, two, three, four. And very often I notice that some dancers are um, keep forgetting this important topic and they just like 
accenting down all the time or hold this position for too long. So you always should remember that we are always have this recovery mo moment on our leg. So exercise super simple. Just um, keep your weight between two, two legs and we're going to use four counts for each leg. We will start with the right leg. So you have to lower yourself, soften the knee of your right leg on two counts. One, two, now three, four, recover. But when you recover, do not, do not go to your knee. Keep it <clears throat> neutral, yeah? It's not a low. Yeah, let's try. So we're going to do 10 counts. I'll try to count four and ten. Hopefully I can make it. <laughs> okay, so we have one, two, three, four. One, left leg, one, two, three, four. 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 Perfect. Of course, uh, the samba timing, especially with the music, you should feel a little bit faster movement. But at the same time, that's your um, right and correct knee action during the all steps in samba. Now, and then we get to the compass section. And in compass section, we're gonna work on those knees, on this um, bounce action a little bit more. So we will uh, do um, each movement for eight counts. And we start with the slow samba bounce first to the right leg. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure on, that on the last count you recover from your flexed knee. Yes, one more time. We do it slow first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the next part, we're going to do doubles. So we're going to do double action on each leg. We're starting with the right. One, uh, two, and you see it's recovery movement in the end. Now, three, uh, four. One more time. Five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. And the third part of our bounce combo, we will have a sing singular movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So you always have to activate your knees. And we can also do it with the stationary sample walks because there's no, no, no such a difference. So we have to close our feet. One, two, three, recover because two pounds down. One, two, three, start to recover. Four, your leg back. Now, five, six, think about your front leg. Five, six down. Seven, eight, recover. And now again, close your feet. One, two, three, recover, four. It's your timing for the leg, for the step back. Because very often, dancers are missing this beautiful position. They always like think about the front leg. So and that's why it looks like this. One, uh, two, three, uh, four. That's not the station in the sample walk. You always have this one, two, three, recovery movement, four, two legs straight, five, six, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three. See, my leg is already ready. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And seven, eight, do not close your leg too soon. That's your timing on one. So, we're gonna do stationary sample walk that slow timing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Sorry, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're gonna do doubles. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, uh, 
seven, uh, eight, and singular, uh, singular samba walks. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Okay, so I hope it's not that complicated. We have a bounce action and then we have a stationary. Slow, doubles, singular. Okay, let's do it all together. Start with the right leg, we have side action first. And maybe it will be easier for you to follow me if I want to stay beside the diagonal. Okay, we start with the right leg and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double, one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, single, one, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, uh, six, seven, eight, stationary slow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, doubles, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, single, one, a uh, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six, seven, a uh, eight, perfect. Will you follow me from the back? So I'll, I'll do, I'll repeat all this routine and you can follow me. And I will show you how to go from the back. Okay, side step with the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven doubles. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stationary. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double. One, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single. One, a uh, two, three, a uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job, guys. Water. Oh, again. Yep. <laughs> water. There we go. Let's see. How are you enjoying it? If you like what you're seeing, make sure to smash that like button. You don't need me to tell you. If you like it, hit that like button. And uh, as I can uh, contest to this and, and in her behalf, all these are just kind of shortened versions of what Anna has at uh, danceswithanna.com. And uh, it's just a little taster for you to see what's there and she goes into more detail about each one of the movements and the mechanics and the different exercises and warm-ups that will prepare you to be able to dance all these accurately to time and she also does it with music which you could try out at home so that's my little pointer as I collect Thank my water. Much. One more sip, one more sip, the dry throat. Warm up the... Uh... You see who is the boss here? <laughs> oh, okay. So. One second. Let's move two things to the rumba. Rumba. Okay. Rumba. And I want to discuss with you today the hip action because I think, um, of course, our legs and hips are important and our biggest assets. But um, I think we have to um, train our hips as, as well as our legs more. So we will have a one easy exercise, I hope it's easy. Again, we have a four counts for our completed hip action in rumba. What we're gonna do? Place yourself, transfer your body weight on one leg. It can be left or right. I'm right now currently on my left leg. So that's gonna be your standing leg. Now, we have hip lift, neutral position, lower, bring the hip, Sometimes I call it hip drop, but it's, of course it's not a drop, we don't need to drop our hip. You just have to remember that we have to lower in our hip bone. And then we have a 
transportation. Now, three points, what I just mentioned, hip lift neutral and a lowering of your hip, supposed to be on your free leg. I call it free leg, but of course we always have a pressure to do this free. Now, rotary action, we're gonna create on our stentor leg. Okay, so you can, um, if it's more comfortable for you and easy for you to feel your hips, you can place your hands on top of your hips and you can kind of help yourself. So we move our, we'll move our right hip up, hip lift, now neutral, hip drop, but it's not a drop, we're just lowering this hip bone down to the floor. So if you see, I have this kind of like diagonal angle in my hips, it's not completely straight, lower. And after that, if this hip is still in low position, in lowest position, rotate your standing leg. Now, when you have a rotation on your standing leg, make sure that those muscle, the back of your leg, it's super tight and it's engaged. So we're not settling back, yeah? We just have a simple rotation, okay? One more time, all four points together. Hip lift, neutral, lower the hip, then rotation. And again, hip lift, neutral, lower the hip, rotation. Hip lift, neutral, lower the hip, rotation. We're gonna do this exercise for 10 counts each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Perfect. Now we can switch the leg and all those actions we're going to repeat with our left hip. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Perfect. So, finally, we are getting closer to our home routine. Um, it will include Cuban breaks. I'm sorry, Cuban motion forward. Yeah, so we start, we'll start with the right leg and we'll move our right foot forward and we're gonna create the same similar hip action what we just did with you in our exercise section. So hip lift, neutral, hip lowering, rotation, replace your weight to the right leg. Left leg forward, hip lift, neutral, lower the hip, a rotation that will collect your foot in, transfer your body weight on the left leg. Now we have two kukarachas, and again, I want to mention your hip action and kukaracha. We not just randomly move our hips from side to side. We have to follow these very simple directions. So when we have a side step, for example, with the right leg, we're going to create hip lift first. Now, neutral, hip drop, and make sure that your rotation, it's not goes just on your standing right leg and you're stuck in this position. We have to rotate our hip after we're lowering this part on the way out. Yes, not on the leg, on the way out. That's how I'm able to switch my weight to other leg. And again, you see, right away I have already hip lift. Neutral, lower the hip, rotation, collect your feet and switch. Same way to other side. Hip lift, neutral, hip drop, rotation already hip lift because when you create the rotation your hip is automatically is up now neutral lower the hip rotation which collects your leg and switch and the last part of our combo we're gonna do a cuban motion in place for eight counts four counts we're gonna go down mm -hmm. with our knees four counts we recover up but the hip action will remain same um, technique. So we have two, three, four, one, and now up, like we're going upstairs. Two, three, four, one, and 
two, three, four, one. And we're ready to go back to our beginning. One more time. I will show you probably with this um, diagonal angle so you can follow me. We're going to start with the right leg. During the preparation, just bring your leg slightly backward. And we're going to start with the right leg. And hip lift two, three, and four, one. And two, three, and four, one. Kukaracha. Two, three, and collect your leg four, one. Two, three, four, one. Keep, um, keep action. Keep in motion now. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four, one. And now we're ready to start again. Our combo. Um, I'll do it again. I will turn my back to you and you can follow me. Let's start with the right leg. And keep action. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Ukaracha. Two. And three and four one two three four one keep action two three four one up two three four one yes great so this um I would say organization of your hip movement will help you a lot with the human motion because our rumba basically all steps are based on the human motion, human rhythm. So your hips has to be active, but you need to know how to make your hips active, not just randomly by um, moving it side to side. Okay, so use these exercises and um, as a preparation, warm up before your practice. It will like tune you into the right um, movement for your rumba, to the right feeling, I would say. Okay. Should we continue? Yeah. Take a water break. If you want to adjust your shirt, please use the mirror. Thank you. If you would like. Um, How are you enjoying this? I'm Now I'm going to take the stage. I'm not going to be teaching any tutorials. But. Finally. If it, <laughs> finally that I am going to teach. In true. <laughs> If you're liking this class and you're enjoying all the amazing free information on his uh, donating to dance today, please hit that like button, tell your friends to subscribe. I create a ton of free content here on the channel just so dancers from around the world can enjoy. And I know some places it's very difficult to dance. Um, and, you know, besides what's happening in the world currently, it's just a, a difficulty due to some cultures to dance. and. Through Dance Today and the medium of, uh, of, of YouTube and the internet, so many people are getting benefits and being able to have high caliber dancers teach them these amazing techniques like Anna, and I just really want to appreciate. Um, <laughs> these so like position. I wore these socks especially for Henrietta because um, she's going to be watching. But I got that ankle game strong right there in the socks. Oh my so, God. <laughs> let's jump okay. into it. Okay, guys. One second, one second. And we are rolling. Okay. Okay, finally. Paso doble. And of course, um, well, I don't have enough time to describe all the technique in Paso doble, but at the same time, I feel like that's an easiest dance from all um, other dancing uh, dances uh, in Latin. Uh, but at the same time, it's a, has a, it has a strong character which we have to always show through our body and our arm expression, our arm movement. That's why I decided to, uh, today to share with you just very basic principles. Um, some of you might know it. Um, for someone, probably you will learn something um, new today. So um, it sounds quite simple, but at the same time, uh, I noticed that so many dancers kind of losing this character um, at the competition, especially. 
um, in the arm and in the posture. So, what we're gonna do? We'll start with both arms first, and then we're going just a singular action. But I want you to practice uh, with both arms at first. So, uh, imagine that you bring uh, the yoga ball forward mm -hmm, and above your head. Okay, so that's how we raising our arms up. When we're lowering our arms down, we're not gonna do the same way. So, or forward or to the side, we're not gonna start with the elbows. We have to lift our arms through the elbows. If you can see uh, me from the side, I'm not starting move my wrists first. I'm starting to move my elbows and then I bring my arm above my head. When I'm lowering my arms, for example, through the side, I'm not start with the wrists. I'm again, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm going to start with the wrist, but I will keep my elbows always pointed towards the ceiling. So again, you start with the elbows, you're lowering your arms with the wrist. So you kind of always make those um, circles and it's not just the entire arm which we move around, yeah? So we start with elbow, up, wrist down, but try to stretch your elbows towards the ceiling. And for 10 counts, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. So the same principle uh, you're going to use if, for example, you want to bring your both arms up and you're starting with the cross position, yeah? We just will add more wrist action in our movement to it, but the shape, basic shape in our arm remain the same. So if, for example, we want to bring both arms up and we want to do it more fancy way, for example, yeah? So we're going to make a cross the front and we start to move our fingers, our wrist in. Now, when you start to bring your arm up, you're not going to start with the wrist. You're going to start with your elbows and try to keep your wrist as much as possible down towards the floor. That's the way you're going to bring your arm up. Now, when you're lowering your arms, you can move it through the side. And again, try to keep your elbows always pointed towards the ceiling. Not only connect your only your wrist. Okay, so um, we don't have a steps in this combo. We just will concentrate mostly on our arm positions and it will have a two main arm actions and um, one extra uh, position in the end. Um, now, we're going to start with both hands. We're going to cross our arms forward in front of your chest. Um, well, I would say in front of your hips, not your chest, towards you, yes, in front of your hips. Now, flex your elbows, activate your wrist. Now, from here, start to lift your arms through your elbows. You can even lift higher. And now, you will release your arms. If I'm going to do this uh, movement towards you or towards my partner, my feet and shape in my hips are going to always will be direct in one of the corners of the room. So it's not really flat action. I would say that action more main, manly movement. For us as a like female dancers, I prefer a little bit more shape into it. Yeah, so we're gonna start with the arms. One, two, three, four. Now, other uh, next four, lowering your arm. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, we're gonna do only one arm. We're gonna bring it up with the palm. So we just, let's practice it. Arm up, twist your hand above your head, and again, release your wrist. Again, palm, right arm, palm up, twist your wrist, and release it down. Again, palm up, twist, release down, palm up, twist, release it down. Now, if you want to 
challenge yourself, you can add more movement in, uh, to, um, to your hand when you're releasing the arm. So after this twisted action, you, we still have a four count. So you're gonna five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that you only activate your wrist, not your elbow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so after, um, let's repeat it again from the beginning. It's a little bit maybe compl complicated. So we'll start with both arms forward. Bring it towards your body. Start to lift your arms up through your elbows and above your head. Now, five, six, seven, eight. We we'll release it down. Now we're gonna start with the left arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you see when I <clears throat> bring my arm up, I create right away the shape in my body through my hips and through the rotation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna do it for <clears throat> four eights. So other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one <clears throat> important point, when I bring my hand down, I'm kind of like um, moving my hand and my fingers towards my hips and it's like kind of action in my hand and reaction in my hips so i'm kind of like poking yes so my hips with the hand and they're creating by that bigger shape in my body through my hips so your tailbone and your body weight has to go more towards the front and towards your ball of the foot yeah so we have um one more time we have a cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left arm up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend more in the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can also practice with the last position as a seated position if you want to extend and um, add a little bit more extreme line to it yeah so you can start with the arm one two three four five six seven eight lower and again just remember that you create all those positions through your pelvic not through your knees just pelvic tilt and together in coordination with your head. Okay, let's practice one more time. One, two, three, four, elbows up, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, add your hands, five, six, seven, eight. Left arm up, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay. today commercial break everybody Yay. great so now we're going to jump uh straight into a super exciting dance a really a favorite dance of mine yes. the jive and uh oh my god oh uh, yeah Anna, are you prepared are you ready for this no but mentally it doesn't really matter physically i just need you prepared okay <laughs> <laughs> one okay, second thanks. one second and remember everybody if you like what you're seeing please smash that like button and share this video with all your friends on social media after this live stream goes up. I know we'll be getting a lot of questions. Uh, I'm behind the camera, so she can't really see all the responses, but thank you so much for all the comments. Yes, this will stay online as always and true Dance Today style. Um, by the way, you're getting a lot of comments. Everybody loves you as a teacher. Rosa uh, remarked, uh, Almira also said, you're a great teacher. 
So you're getting a lot of positive feedback. Thank you everybody for, for watching and um, helping us out with this. And I hope that all this information is helpful and you'll be able to practice it in the future. And Anna looks forward to seeing you on the dance floor. The jive. Yes. <laughs> okay, the jive. Great. So, um, let's talk about our leg positions, especially during the kicks. Well, if you are not that uh, advanced dancer yet, and you are competing like in bronze or silver, you go through those like basic um, steps. It's, it's still important for you. To time when our leg are lifting the floor um, not every time but especially if we're gonna talk today about the kicks during the kicks especially for girls especially for ladies it's important to remember sometimes need to practice in the pencil skirt imagine that you have a super tight skirt and it's not allowed you to do that. Know that, know this position. During the chasse, know that. That's not attractive. Um, I try my best to show it. <laughs> so, um, you always have to feel the engagement in your inner thigh muscles. So, it's kind of always uh, pretty tight and compact. Now, during the um, kicks, uh, the way we lift our, our leg up, it's not that. That's a little bit too simple, too easy to do, and it's not pretty. So we always have to remain the um, connection, first of all, with the floor. So we have to slide the foot in first, before we're going to lift it up. Now, when you're going to lift your leg up, I want you to feel connection between your right ankle. Let's say I'm, right now I'm going to lift my right leg. Between your right ankle and your standing leg. So you have to keep pushing your both legs to the kind of like center. So it's always connected action. And do not forget to point your toes because these positions are not really pretty. Yeah, so you're kind of, when you lift your leg up, you already start to point your toes and lifting your leg up by kind of point, curve your toes a little bit more in. Or prettier line. So we're gonna do a simple exercise just to train the, uh, the legs um, and prepare ourselves for a nice and pretty kicks. So we're gonna slide our right leg in and now in connection, strong connection to the standing leg up and release it down. Our one, two, Three, four, keep the connection, five. Let's try other leg. Slide with the floor, one, two, three, four, five. Great. Now, a little bit more um, advanced way of doing that action. We're going to lift our right leg up. At the same time, when we're going to bring our left heel up, so we're kind of going to the high passe, release it down, up, and step. Again, left leg, go to the passe, down, up, and side step. Again, up, down, up on your standing leg, and step. One. Two, so we kind of have a double action. A uh, one, a uh, two, and step. A uh, one, a uh, two, and step. And again, a uh, one, a uh, two, step. One, two, step. It's very um, important to use your standing leg entire time during the kicks, but in general as well. So. When we're going to do a kicks, the second part what you also have to can practice as an exercise action, um, we kind of continue to do the same movement. 
but right now we can uh, activate not only our ankle but our knee as well so when we slide our leg up go up on your standing leg bring your a heel away from the floor but keep your legs straight so legs straight now when you lower your heel down flex your knee again straight your leg and side step again go up flex your knee up straight leg and side again up flex your standing knee go down up and side again up flex your standing knee and lower yourself up and side that's basically your kick uh, kicks action in the jack so our combination will include today kick kicks action forward uh, kick ball changes um, and that's all that's all that's it so we will start with the right leg and we're gonna do uh, for eight counts so four kicks in total yes for each leg so we'll have a uh, one a uh, two a uh, three a uh, four a uh, five a uh, six seven a uh, eight and just pay attention to my leg positions i'm not trying to take a huge step to the side well you can have a side step but after you just have to make sure that your legs uh, will connect before you're gonna do the kick and number two important point is right now you see me facing yes to you when i'm doing the kicks forward that's not exactly forward so we're not kicking forward. Try to uh, use and um, use more angles in, in your movement. And when we kick forward, for we're kicking forward diagonal towards the corner of the room. And then we collect and we can closer kick. And again, we already directing our knee towards the corner of the room. Then we can take the kick action and return. So our knees are always kind of under the Let's look much nicer and prettier on the floor. So we have four kicks in total. And uh, one, uh, two, three, uh, four. Keep connection between your legs. Seven, uh, eight. Now we have one, two. So we have a slow slide. One, two, uh, three, four down in cross. And again, slow slide, five, six, uh, seven, eight. So basically, when we have a slow passe, I give you chance and opportunity to really feel this slide action. Yes, for two counts. One, two. Now, we have to jump through our right leg to the left into the cross position. And again, connect your inner thigh muscles. And again, slow passe, one, two and jump three four into the cross so uh collect your inner thigh muscles right away let's try one two uh, three four five six a uh, seven eight mm -hmm. and then we can continue with regular kick ball change and again when you have a regular kick ball change try to activate the gap in connection to towards your standing leg uh one uh two uh three a uh, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, seven, a uh, eight. Remember, we're not playing soccer, so we don't need to kick our leg forward or kick towards our partner or our competitor. Well, it's not a smart move. <laughs> um, we have to always point our toes while we're kicking forward towards the floor. So if you notice, my leg is my point goes down and then I switch down and switch uh, down switch down switch kick ball change usually is not a progressive movement unless you need to really travel travel with the switch so travel with the second step not with the kick yeah okay let's review everything so we have three figures in total um, starting with the kicks uh, one uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, passe. One, two, a uh, three, four, five, six, a uh, seven, eight, and keep ball change. You can make it in place. One, a uh, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six, seven, a uh, eight. Great. And then we can start over again. Let's try with me and practice with always oh, starting with the right leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
2, a 3, 4, 5, 6, a 7, 8, 1, a 2, 3, a 4, 5, a 6, 7, a 8. Perfect. Great job, guys. I hope you dance, dance together with me today. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so. Final dance today commercial break. <laughs> thank you. I just want to say thank you so much, Anna, for coming in and helping everybody out. And I mean, this was a huge. Thank you so much, so guys. Many people that watched. For being today with me and dancing with me today. Uh, I hope you all had a great time and learn probably something new or review uh, the information you already know, for example. Yeah, it was a great and it was a big pleasure for being here today with you. Thank you so much, Ruben, for this opportunity for all dancers. I think it's an amazing idea and what you do for dance world and dance sport is it's a lot. <laughs> it's uh, like I think every single dancer is just really grateful for this opportunity and for, for what you're doing. Thank for you. The Please don't stop, continue. Yes, Please. I know. <laughs> I, know, I know the points. <laughs> I just want to say again, huge thank you. Everybody watching, and uh, please head over to dancewithon.com where you're going to see a ton of amazing lectures and lessons, exercises, warm ups. It's a monthly subscription. We're constantly adding new videos. Yes, we're working almost every day to find something new, something special for you to learn. So, right now, we're uh, as soon as this live stream is over, we're going to be continuing to film videos. We already have three more set up to come out next week. And I want to give you a few accounts to follow because I'm always trying to innovate and uh, make dance more even more exciting and accessible to everybody. Follow me on TikTok, which is at Real Dance Today, where I remix um, a lot of my content to modern hits and trending songs. And uh, it gives it a new spin to all the amazing, beautiful routines and competitors that you are, are used to watching. Follow Anna on Instagram at Anna Kova underscore Lova, uh, as well as follow her on Facebook, but follow the Facebook page for Dance with Anna, Anna, which is Dance with Anna Online. And there's going to be a lot of exclusive, only for that Facebook page, videos coming out. So you'll get uh, a bunch of updates, new exercises, insights, a blog, uh, a ton of things that will help there, you out. Yeah, we yeah. can chat there and uh, I can follow your progress So and read your comments, it would be really nice. If so you when you're done see. with your course, when you're done for your day and you film yourself practicing those Let routines, you might get featured on that Facebook page. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Thank Mwah. You guys. Mwah.